good day and welcome to St. Stephen's. We are Nancy and Brent. We will be following the order of service for noonday, page 103 in your Book of Common Prayer. Let's take a moment of silence while you open your prayer books or just get in the mood. This is an unsettled time. Spring is here. The red buds in the woods behind us are opening. Yet we're physically isolated. No hugs, no handshakes, no proximity because of a new and dangerous disease among us. In this context, the opening words of the liturgy are especially relevant. Make speed to save us, make haste to help us. Let us begin. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and to the, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. You are invited to join in the reading of the psalm, either silently or aloud. Psalm 126 in Covertendo. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then we were like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of Negev. Those who sowed with fear will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out with weeping, carrying the seeds, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to, to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The order of service calls for a suitable passage of scripture here. Psalms of Lamentation seem particularly appropriate at this time. From Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me and are so far from my cry and from the words of my distress? O oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not answer. By night as well, but I find no rest. Yet you are the Holy One, enthroned upon the praises of Israel. Our forefathers put their trust in you. They trusted, and you delivered them. They cried out to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not put to shame. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. A recent blog post from the Episcopal Church Foundation was entitled, In Times of Great Sickness and Mortality. It notes that the 1928 prayer book was formed during the period after the 1918 influenza pandemic. No wonder then that it included the prayer with that title, In Times of Great Sickness and Mortality. Almighty and merciful God, in this time of grievous sickness, we flee unto thee for succor. Deliver us, we beseech thee, from our peril. Give strength and skill to all those who minister to the sick. Prosper the means made use of for their cure. And grant that, perceiving how frail and uncertain our life is, we may apply our hearts unto that heavenly wisdom 
which leadeth to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The blog post continues, Those of us who grew up scoffing at the behaviors of our elders, who grew up during the Great Depression, parents and grandparents who saved scraps of cloth, who did not trust the banks, who made us eat all the food on our plates, are beginning to understand more fully now how world events can shape our patterns. In this season, we're invited to learn more about technology and to reflect theologically on the benefits and limits it offers. There's a lot of that going on. In this season, we are also invited to consider the ways the coronavirus pandemic will shape our worldview and that of our spiritual descendants in decades that follow. Who and what will we trust? Will we be more inclined to hoard out of scarcity or to give out of abundance? How will we make decisions, plan for the future, assume certainty and control or not? How will we talk about God, about church, about sacrifice? How will we pray? For starters, I, the author of this blog post, offered this prayer by the Reverend Sam Wills, vicar of St. Martin in the Fields, London. God of healing and hope, in Jesus you meet us in our places of pain and fear. Look with mercy on those who have contracted the new virus, on any who are vulnerable, and on all who are feeling in danger. Through this time of global concern, by your Holy Spirit, bring out the best, not the worst in us. Make us more aware of our interdependence on each other and of the strength that comes from being one body in you. Through Christ, our wounded healer, amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.